What am I doing in this strange bathroom? Who are you? And, what are you doing here? She is having a dream about employee profiles and statistics. In that case she better wake up. So wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Huh? Where am I? What a crazy dream. You were, like, sleeping on the floor. That is, like, so uncool. Looks like the nightmare continues. One troll, what passes for a little sister, on this side of me? And another troll, whoever you are, on my other side. I am, so, out of here. Cool, Melissa is here. Melissa, you are totally awesome. Yes, really out there. Guys, I came to the CIT to study, not to puke. Ron students, I know you are watching this. What can you tell me about the supply and demand of employees with certain skill sets and gap analyses? Are Ron Ostrowski's students really watching this? I feel nervous. I think my privacy is being violated or something. Melissa, I hear you are having problems with understanding the supply and demand concept in workforce planning. You better leave these vacuous losers and come with. Here is Alan. He is a keen student of that great teacher, Ron Ostrowski. Hi, Alfie. And, hi, Melissa. You are the one who hardly comes to Ron's class. Zip it with the attitude, dude. So, which of you two brainiacs can brief me on supply and demand? Workforce planning is very much a future-orientated process which requires the identification, quantification and diagnosis of current workforce capabilities and future ones. Huh. Workforce planning involves analyzing workforce profile data and trends, forecasting workforce demand and supply, and undertaking a gap analysis to determine the future supply. Gaps between future demand and future supply of certain skill sets are prioritized according to risk assessments in respect to corporate objectives and operational imperatives. These gaps subsequently inform the human resource management and the workforce development strategies to mitigate those risks. I get it. There is a strong interrelationship between workforce planning and human resource management and development strategies. The workforce planning process serves to identify workforce profile metrics and behavior trends to inform human resource and learning and development practitioners. When you go to class Ron will tell you all about the data, both dynamic and static, required for workforce metrics. Gross. You got fleas. I am like so going to Ron's class. That girl is strange. There is so much more we had to tell her on estimating and analyzing supply and demand trends. That talking dog is weird, and so gross. I know there's much more to workforce metrics. See Ron's PowerPoint on eLearn. Go to Ron's class and join in the fun discussion.